Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name's Fex and today we're going to be talking about my first experience with Foss. Hey guys, thank you so much for checking out my midweek video. Today I wanted to share with you guys my experience with fasting. So growing up, fasting wasn't really something we talked about, it was not something that my church specifically um, talked about, it wasn't something that we did together as a church either and so I really didn't talk a lot about it, I didn't know that much about fasting um, and fasting and prayer, I didn't know much about how to do that or what it really was. And when I went to uni it was kind of like my first real introduction to it and, and talking to people who had actually um, taken part in fasting and prayer and so one of my friends at uni talked to me about it and I remember there was a situation going on at the time that was um, quite serious to me and I really wanted to pray seriously about it and she suggested to me about fasting. Now at the time we never actually got round to sort of picking a fast and, and committing to one together um, and uh, by God's grace that situation um, was resolved and um, I didn't end up fasting at that occasion but all of those things stick with you and so I carried that for a good few years now since I've left uni and um, since the beginning of lockdown we've been, my family have been watching um, a local church's um, YouTube service and during their service they have their notices and in their notices they particularly have a group that meet to um, pray and fast and so um, every week it advertises it. I never really uh, consciously thought about that I was seeing this every week about fasting but God was working in me subconsciously and um, I think it was really starting to speak to my heart with before I was even aware of it and so I want to say two weeks ago um, it just started really coming to my mind about fasting kept thinking about this like hmm, I feel like maybe maybe I need to look into fasting and like what fasting is and can I take part in a fast and so I started kind of looking it up and I decided to start a bible plan on the bible app that was about fasting and I just was looking into it and I found out that um there was so much goodness that can come from fasting that there were different ways of fasting um, and I still went through that plan thinking I don't think I'm going to fast anytime soon but you know it was good to look at and then uh, last, this time last week, I had a Bible study with my family. Um, so my extended family, we got together and we've been talking about kind of like how you need to put faith in action and how we can't be distracted. And like, are we really spending time with God or are we making excuses? And I just felt really convicted then that I need to do this fast. And I'm going to go into what exactly I fasted from because um, I think that's the key reason why I felt really compelled to fast and I got really convicted and I decided after that particular study at that time that's it like I'm gonna fast from now for a week and I'm gonna do this for a week and experience it and I'll um, just see what happens in that week and what it's like to do a fast like this so I've got notes on my screen under here um, with all my thoughts about fasting my experience with it and um, yeah, I just want to share with you guys what it was like to have a, my first fast. So, um, like I said, I found out there were different ways to fast. And one of the biggest reasons I was put off from fasting is because I have health conditions. And because of that, fasting from food can be a bit tricky. And I felt like it wasn't the wisest decision. And at the moment, I've had like flare ups and stuff. And I just wasn't comfortable with um, not eating especially if it was going to be a long-term fast for seven days or that kind of thing it was too much to try and do that so um, I was really excited to see that um, areas in my life that I felt like were distracting me from God could be fasted from and so that's what I decided to go into and so I thought for a long time about what is it in my life that I feel is distracting me most from spending time with God and if I could give something up in my life what could that be that I could then use that time to spend more time with God and pray more? Um, what was distracting me was the amount of time I spend watching Netflix or watching YouTube and watching stuff on Amazon Prime. So that for me was the pinpoint then of I spend a really lot, a lot of time watching stuff, not necessarily bad stuff, it, there's not bad stuff, they're just like baking programs and family TV shows, but could I be doing something better than watching one episode that turns into two that turns into three? 
you know, could I be spending this time in more study of God's word and in, especially in prayer? Could this help my prayer life? So um, that's why that's why I picked to give up Netflix, Amazon Prime and YouTube. Um, and I'm going to be real with you. I have a real thing about Netflix. So um, I told my friend this a while ago and she laughed at me, but um, I realised after a breakup that I had um, last year that Netflix was like a part of my personality like when he used to describe me to people like Netflix was part of that because I used to spend a lot of time watching um, TV shows and movies and just like loads of kids shows um, but I just spent a lot of time doing that and because of chronic illness I spent a lot of time at home I guess I just spent time doing that because it was a way to fill a void to, and that kind of thing and also because you can have conversations about stuff that you're watching but it became like a real part of me and I didn't want that like Netflix should not be a part of your personality and so I felt like I was wasting time with these things and I was just getting enveloped into it so I decided to give um give those things up and so during this week I did watch tv but I never sat down and put a show on myself it was just when my nan wanted me to sit with her or my family were watching a program specifically together um, and I still made sure that was drastically not as much time that I would spend watching it um, and I made sure it didn't impact how much time I then spent with God so um, that wasn't really what my issue was it was more about the time I spent by myself so my plan basically was to um, spend more time with God like journaling or bible studying spend more time in prayer not just in the morning when I go to sleep but actually during the day take a time out like when I would have been watching tv to pray just listen to music more listen to um, christian podcasts and one of the most important things I did was make a list of um, a few things that were really important to me that I really wanted to pray seriously about for this um, time period and so that was basically how I went about my fast so I feel like I've talked a lot about um, why I wanted to fast and what I was fasting from. So let me just get into um, what this week was like um, as my first fast. So um, I'm not going to go into everything. I've written down how I felt about um, each day and maybe I'll put it into a blog post um, at some point. But basically I found that um, it wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be because when you replace um, one thing with something else and that other thing is better, you don't miss it as much. So replacing watching a program which does nothing to enhance my life with reading God's word and praying and singing his praises, uh, of course I'm not gonna miss watching TV when I've got something so much greater that I'm doing. So I found that this week was actually really good. I've really enjoyed studying, I've really enjoyed praying more, that's been one of, uh, I've said this a thousand times I feel like on this channel now that prayer is something I'm really working on, it's something I find hard and it's really helped me to have a specific focus of these are things I really really want to pray about because they're really important and I know I don't pray about them enough and I'm not going to waste time watching TV and getting distracted, I'm going to pray about it. So it's really helped um, and I just feel super much more connected with God and um, you know I'm not going to lie there are things that have happened that I really think Satan really tries to distract you when you try to do things like this for God. He sent people to say things that weren't very nice to me, um, who would try and, you know, make me feel really grumpy and be like, oh, well, when I watch TV, you know, I'm taking time as an introvert to refresh myself. And it's like, no, I would get grumpy regardless because I just need to work on that grumpy side of me. And as someone with chronic fatigue, if I'm not getting proper sleep, which was impacted separately from all of what I've been doing through fasting um, I'm going to be a bit grumpy and so I could start to really recognize I had made a thousand excuses to um, just be distracted instead of doing what I should be doing to enhance my relationship with God and spend that time with him and so this week I have found that some days were hard some days I thought about oh I really want to watch this show or I really want to check out YouTube what's going on but at the end of the day, when I decided to say, no, I'm actually going to read this word from God. No, I'm actually going to pray right now. No, I'm going to worship him instead. Um, it's been better than I could have imagined. And coming to the end of this week, I want to keep it that I don't really spend that much time watching those things because I don't really need them. Um, I do want to reduce that um, and continue reducing it. So in, an ex to a in a way, I'm going to continue this fast for a bit longer and stay off of it and then try to um stick with keeping the newly implemented times that I'm spending with God even when I then 
may go back to watching shows and stuff regularly, but not um, nowhere near as much time as I was before. I could definitely see myself doing fast um, in the future. And so um, I really encourage you, if you have never um, thought about fasting, do some research for yourself and um, let the spirit convict you in the way that it needs to so that you can figure out how is the best way for you to fast and what is it that's going to benefit your relationship with Christ and um, through that fast how are you going to be giving more glory to God. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed my journey I guess to fasting and I've had a great experience with it um, and yeah I'm just so grateful that God um, has his amazing ways, crazy ways of putting things on your heart without you even knowing it and then revealing it to you at the right time. So yeah, um, if there is something that keeps coming up to you, take a time to think about it. Maybe God is telling you something. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys again on Sunday for Bible with Bex. Bye guys!